Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th Intermediate Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to go through uh, if statements uh, and how you use them. So an if statement is uh, almost like a switch that make you choose between one thing and another thing. So they're, they're very useful, um, they come in handy uh, so if I show you how to use them uh, the first thing you're going to need to learn is how to use operators. Um, so the first operator is equals. Uh, so very straightforward is is something the same as something else. And so if you had is let's just put equals in here. So if if five equals five then that's going to return a value of true um, because 5 does equal 5. Now the next one you can have is uh, the great greater sign so 5 greater than 5 that's going to be false because the uh, the 5 isn't greater than 5 it's just the same as 5 whereas if you had 5 greater than 4 then that would be true um, because 5 is greater than 4 uh, obviously you've got less than so again if, if you've got 5 less than 4 then that's going to be false because 5 is greater than 4 or if you have 4 less than 5 then that's going to be true uh, you've also got so if we've got 5 is greater than or equal to 5 now this unlike the one before is going to return true because it's saying it's greater than or it's equal to um, and similarly you've got the opposite way around so you've got less than or equal to um, and then finally if you put less than or or greater than and then this is equivalent to doesn't equal so if you've got 5 doesn't equal 5 then that's going to be false because they're the same whereas if you've got 5 doesn't equal 6 then that's going to be true and that's going to be true as well so that's your operators these are generally what you use um, within your if statement. Um, so if I take an example, if I put a, a set of numbers down here, um, let's put in an if statement here. So with any formula, again, you start off with equals and then if, open bracket. This formula takes three parameters. You've got your logical test and then value of true, value is false. So in here, you put one of the expressions that I put there. So if we put 5 equals 5 and then put a comma to go on to the next parameter. So the value of 5 does equal 5. So wow, 5 really does equal make sure you spell everything incorrectly and value of false is you're not going to see me yet close bracket so we put that there so all it's showing is the true value because 5 does equal 5 um, and it's not going to it's not going to show that because uh, yeah, that's only value runs if 5 doesn't equal 5 so if we change this to 4 and you see it comes up with a you're not going to see me yet because 5 doesn't equal 4 so if we put in all the operators in here so 5 greater than 4 so that's coming up as true uh, 5 greater than or equal to 4 so that's also fine 5 less than 4 so that's, that's coming up as false uh, 5 less than or equal to 5 so that's coming up as true because you've got the equal to uh, and then finally 
doesn't equal and then that's coming up as false because 5 does equal 5 um, and that if, say if we change this to 6 then you'll see it comes up as uh, true um, so there's a couple of little additions that you can do to this so the first one is you can put a not uh, and you can put that around your logical argument there and it will switch which one it goes to. Um, the second thing you can do is you can put an and. So you can put and and then that lets you put multiple logic. So uh, and 5 doesn't equal 6, comma 4 doesn't equal 6 close brackets. That's going to test that 5 doesn't equal 6 and 4 doesn't equal 6. So in theory that should show as true, which it does. Um, let's see how much time I've got left. Plenty. So this is all well and good, but at the moment all we're doing is just determining ourselves which one it is. But what we really want to be doing is using cell references. So that's pretty simple. We just put in the logical test. So select the cell. So is A2 greater than A1? And it will come up as true. Um, I'm going to write true and false in here so it's more clear what we're getting onto now. Um, there we go. So that's showing us true. Um, Let's make it greater than or equal to a 4, and it says false because 2 is less than 4. Um, and if we put doesn't equal, then it will say true because they're not equal to each other. Whereas if we put equal, then it will say false because they're not equal to. You can also do, um, you can put functions in there. So count, um, you can put some of these numbers is greater than the count of these numbers and then that'll be true because the all of the numbers added together are more than the amount of numbers that there are so you can use formulas in there as well um, so uh, that's it for uh, simple if statements uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to go over nested if statements so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial